Good morning, my name is Terry Thomas. I'd like to submit my three questions for the counseling department at Fort Bend ISD. The first question I would like to address is how I would implement a comprehensive counseling model in my practice. The first thing I will do is take a survey. The survey would enlist all stakeholders or interest personnel that want to have input on the school. The interest personnel would be my staff, would be the teachers, would be the students and the parents, the community and agencies. I would like to make sure the support staff have input because they're often the eyes and ears of the school and they often know what has worked and what hasn't worked in the past. After I review that data, I will build my different initiatives from that data and make objectives. Making sure that everyone know what we can work on, the time frame, and when I will be able to host small groups to get feedback and follow up with them. The second question I was asked to address is how would I build positive relationships with the students, parents, and community. I will let them know I'm an advocate for the student, meeting their academic, social, personal and emotional issues that arise on a daily basis. I would like them to know my contact information, the hours of operation, my email, and my phone number. I will also let them know my advantages of getting back to them within 24 hours to help make sure we're meeting the needs of the students in a timely manage manner and make sure that they have input back on what I've done. So I would like to continue to help them evaluate me and how I deal with different situations and make sure we have clear communication lines. The third question I would like to address is how a student has impacted my experience as an educator. The student I would like to address is a student who had seizures. And the seizures were often embarrassing for her because she made funny noises and phone from the mouth and I knew that would be a problem for her with her social skills and being emotionally um, affected by these different types of seizures. So what I did and other staff members did, we made sure she was safe in the environment and made sure she was always covered just in case she had on her dress and made sure that we always got back with her in a timely manner to make sure her work was done. And it's often we used our own personal time to work with her to make sure she graduate and go off to college and be successful. As of today, she has graduated from HBU and she is a psychologist. Thank you for allowing me to have the opportunity to speak with you. Have a great day.